How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your morning cup. It's New Year's Eve everywhere, but a lot has happened since we last spoke. Let's just jump straight into the fact that there was an attack on the Aden airport at Yemen. And this attack was specifically targeted for the returning Yemen government that was coming back from Saudi Arabia, along with the new cabinet minister. 22 people have been killed in this attack, numerous others injured. The airport's runway was bombed, along with the terminals on the airport as well. Numerous attackers have been affiliated with this, and no one authority has claimed responsibility as of now. Our hearts go out to everyone injured, as well as the new government officials that were making their way to Yemen. An update about the Nashville bomber, turns out that the Nashville bomber's ex-girlfriend, about a year ago, was still warning people about his intentions, considering the fact that he was going out of his way to figure out how to make bombs. She also reported his activities to the authorities, but was not taken seriously. A year later, we have one of the biggest disasters in Nashville history. Just goes to show that we need to take tip-offs a little more seriously. Especially in a country like the United States, where access to certain things are much more easier than the rest of the world. Things like explosives. Things like guns. And if we aren't on top of this, even though someone went out of their way to give a warning, then what's it all about? We move on to global warming. Well, as we have spoken about numerous times on this show, global warming has taken a ginormous toll across the globe in various aspects of the imagination. But when it comes to Siberia, it's taken a huge toll in terms of climate change there. Siberia has never seen temperatures like it is seeing today. Siberia is warming at a rate that it has never warmed before. And thereby a lot is thawing out in Siberia. A lot of permafrost is thawing out in Siberia. And in the latest uncovering of this permafrost, we've come across a woolly rhino, completely preserved from head to toe. Just goes to show that an animal that was preserved in a solid chunk of ice for upwards of a thousand years has been uncovered today. What researchers are going to be finding out from this animal is still too early to tell. But it just goes to show that there is a whole new wave of things that we have not experienced or known about. And now with climate change, we are right in the middle of it. A 250 kilogram live bomb was found outside of an international airport in Dhaka. This is the fifth time something like this has happened. A live bomb from the 1971 war, still very much capable of doing ginormous damage, was found very close to the airport. Officials have not put out a statement yet as to why it took them so long to figure out where these bombs have been buried. But the fact of the matter is that a country that was once engulfed in war, such things are bound to come up. It is the responsibility of the governing bodies as well as the powers that be to ensure that such bombs are extracted, such bombs are dealt with and no threat to civil populations exist. Right next to an international airport rather. We move on to a massive landslide in Norway. Apparently there was a massive landslide in Norway and 10 people have been injured, with 11 people missing. Most of the houses were completely buried. People were not expecting such a thing to happen. The authorities were not expecting such a thing to happen. But it was rather quick, rather sudden, and took everyone by surprise. The authorities are still working on it, and it is a developing situation. We will keep you updated about the actual numbers of fatalities as well as injuries. We move on to the final story of the day with Ireland. Now, Ireland has faced its fair share of issues with the COVID pandemic. Also with numerous other things that were happening in Ireland this year. But the latest news that's coming out of Ireland is the fact that the new coronavirus strain in Ireland has sparked such intense lockdowns that the country has gone into phase one lockdowns, the same lockdowns that were established in early March or May this year. The country is in severe lockdown for at least upwards of a month, authorities claim. Now, we still don't know what people are going to be like on this New Year's Eve. A lot of people across the world want to step out. A lot of people across the world want to go and do something fun. It makes sense. Putting this year behind us is very essential for us as a species. But what we also should understand is the fact that we cannot take this lightly. 
yes celebrate celebrate at home celebrate with your close friends understandable but don't go out of your way to put yourself in a predicament in which you might be exposed to the virus that you have been avoiding for upwards of a year you see us as a species are resilient are stubborn and we believe that if something didn't affect us for upwards of a year it can't affect us now but that's not true if you've been safe all this while from the covid pandemic don't risk it now that the year has almost come to an end don't risk it now that 2021 is here you don't want to start 2021 with this stay safe stay home but more importantly be nice to someone be nice to each other be nice to the people that don't have their family around the holidays are always tougher on people that are away from their families tougher on the people that might not have a family anymore you see this pandemic has taken a lot from us but as a species we're stronger together until then i wish everyone watching a very happy new year hope you guys have been safe hope you guys have been doing well and this will continue in 2021 until then i'll see you next year this has been your morning cup damn that's good coffee that i'll see you